of NIASA in the labor space is multifold. We, we started off 25 years ago and uh, I established the organization and uh, we started off by rendering uh, industrial relations and labor law services to, uh, to employers. Now we're still doing that and it is still a core function. Uh, uh, that uh, giving that service to, to business is essential and it will always be a, a, a core function. In the meantime, we've expanded this service. We are also uh, rendering collective bargaining services on sectoral level. We assist businesses with skills development, uh, employment equity, uh, black economic empowerment, um, and we are a substantial lobby for business in the political space. Oh, Tambo International Airport. It's the busiest transport hub in Africa. At least it was. COVID-19 has wrecked the aviation industry, which is slowly trying to get back on its feet and into the air. COVID-19 is, uh, is posing a challenge, but I don't think uh, that COVID-19 as such was the big challenge. It was the way in which governments addressed it. The locking down of the economies was uh, simply an entirely unsustainable exercise. You just cannot do that. You cannot switch off the, the, the oxygen of an economy. I can stay at home, my kids they won't eat. So it's rather to risk, go to work, you see, to find something for them. Now I'm, I'm afraid to lose the job because now we are losing customers. Customers they are not coming like before. Because now other they are scared also to come outside, they are sitting at home. They are scared even to go outside to buy food, they rather to stay inside the doors. This disease is dangerous and it's spreading fast. South Africa is in the grip of a deadly virus and an even more harmful economic lockdown. Despite the devastatingly slow pace of government's rollout of the COVID vaccine, we are likely to be vaccinated against COVID before the end of 2022. However, the government neither has a vaccine nor an antidote for businesses' wholesale demise and the loss of millions of jobs resulting from the lockdown. At the same time, South Africa and the economic world are caught up in the fourth industrial revolution, characterized by replacing millions of workers with robots. These two forces, disastrous effects, make it imperative that we move forward to the fifth industrial revolution, that being a united strategy for getting businesses back to profitability and employees back to work. The fifth industrial revolution will not be delivered by the government, by our God, or by Santa Claus. 5IR and NIASA have created a partnership to provide to every workplace that wants it a video package that guides the business and its people out of the darkness of COVID, the lockdown and the inept government towards the light of the fifth industrial revolution. COVID-19 posed uh, a huge number of challenges. The one was on, on the labor law field, uh, employees were not allowed to come to work, that posed uh, challenges. The payment of these employees the, the claiming of money from uh, the UIF, uh, employees were, uh, you know, working hours were reduced, some employees were retrenched. They're unorganized, unorganized. We were there for, for business, so um, uh, COVID-19 uh, introduced a, a entirely new challenge to business, to everybody. The fallout from uh, COVID is still there, we are still retrenching. Life is very unpredictable. Since this coronavirus started, I have got no money. I didn't expect to have enough food at my house. When they start to stop us to go to work, that's why I have got a problem. I didn't have a budget. If I'm not working, I do not have anything to buy for my family, something to eat. What we did learn through this period is that you have to be able to adapt. And those that could adapt 
uh, quickly. Whereas with the, the ones that, that took advantage from, uh, from the, the challenge. However, there are certain businesses, it's, uh, for instance, uh, tourism. You know, you can adapt as well as you can, as well as you, you can try. But if they aren't tourists, they're still not uh, foreign visitors. So how do you help that person? The two-part video package provides practical strategies, firstly, for managing the business effectively during the lockdown. And secondly, it provides the mechanism for generating the accelerated resurgence of every participating business and the growth of jobs in South Africa. We prescribe the antidote against business decline based on a shift from our old routine. Unproductive management employee relationships to a super productive workplace partnership. Businesses and their employees make money together and share in the resulting fruits thereof. This collaborative culture benefits both workplace partners. It promotes each business's profitability and growth and strengthens our economy. A strong economy in turn enhances each company and creates jobs. And this positive cycle promotes the fifth industrial revolution. While Johnson & Johnson are providing the COVID vaccine, business and labour, supported by NIASA and 5IR, will be providing the lockdown antidote at each workplace. For those businesses and workers willing to participate, the fifth industrial revolution will spring out of the ashes of state capture, COVID-19 and the economic lockdown. Even an established business is constantly in the process of starting something. Uh, and that's our heart, that is our focus. Um, entrepreneurs, small and medium-sized businesses, uh, are, the, are the engine room of this economy. Uh, and this is our heart, this is why we exist. And it is nothing that gives us more pleasure and joy than to assist business in this journey of becoming more successful and, and that's, that's why we're here, that's we, what we want to do and that, that is, we want to be the best as far as that's concerned. The Fifth Industrial Revolution in partnership with NIASA provides in this video mechanisms to achieve the balance between stabilizing the organization, protecting the welfare of its people restoring the economic prosperity of the organisation and legal compliance in the COVID environment. Achieving this balance requires us to realign our workplace policies, procedures and practices aimed at managing the new normal while ensuring organisational effectiveness and legal compliance. The devastating fallout of Corona has rendered the old negative adversarial workplace culture unsustainable and financially suicidal. The new normal requires a very different culture, a much more united industrial relationship, a co-productive way of making and sharing profits. Our only chance of avoiding economic ruin for businesses and employees is for us to work cooperatively at our highest levels of cost effectiveness and productivity and avoiding all wastage so as to make up for the economic losses caused by Corona. Most importantly, we must ensure that both employers and employees benefit fairly from the success of our joint efforts to strengthen the business. We can either allow Corona to widen the historical divide between workers and employers and thus destroy our livelihoods, or we can develop a new culture and unite against the diseases of Corona, workplace antagonism, and lockdown losses. If we fail to work together, then together we will fail to work.